All right, we got the full crew here tonight. Well, we just lost two, but we got Furious Pete here. What's going on? Welcome to the channel, guys. We are doing an interview. Unfortunately, it's not live because my internet is slower than a turtle's. I'm turning off all my sound. <laughs> turn all, everyone turn the Wi-Fi off. I'm not turning off. Croxy? Uh, maybe later. Wait, I need uh, to make sure. Maybe in like five, 10 minutes. Listen, I need to make sure I get my DMs. I oh yeah. The DMs from the no, you can stay on the Wi-Fi. Okay. Cool. You're good. I'm. That's what we're not doing this live. Anyways, uh, yeah. So we're gonna interview Fierce Pete here. Whatever his crazy life is. I like your shirt. That's neat. That's cool. Yeah, is that some, new? Some is some, that custom? some assholes gave it to me. It's pretty cool. But... Whoa! Watch it on the A words, eh? <laughs> well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know your channel was PG. I'm just PG. kidding. This is a family channel. You drop all the Z words you want to. This is a family to. channel. You might as well just cut the video now. <laughs> oh, uh, here we go, brother. Right. Here we go. It's about right. to get really, really fancy. Do we need anything while we're over here? Okay, I got a cool DM. It's uh, high beat. <laughs> I love those ones. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these questions are not going to not suitable i think the you know there was like when are you and mark gonna do a meetup let's do it tonight okay let's do it to the brain again oh yeah well, it won't okay. be tonight on when this video is posted yeah but well we can do so for sure i'm sure there's gonna be a college a university crowd out there too yeah do you want to sign some drafts <sighs> some drafts like, I some drafts, like autographs drafts autog i don't i don't sign autographs i'm not i'm not a fan of that i don't know why like is that weird like i mean if somebody asks for it, i'm not gonna say no but like I don't know. I just, I always what feel, I, like, do you ever get to that point where it's like, I know that we didn't do intro or whatever, but like, do you ever get to that point where, okay, we're, we're on the internet and then somebody like asks you for your autograph. Do you ever like, through your head, you're like, what? Like, you want um, an autograph? Like, this make, doesn't make sense. When they ask for an autograph, but there's like nothing to sign. They're like, hey, I yeah, that's, and that's, you don't have a Sharpie. They're just standing They're there. not prepared. <laughs> yeah. you, they always I'm think that prepared. you have a Sharpie. Because I get that all the time where it's just like, I'll be running through an airport to catch a flight. I'll be like, oh, cool. Uh, thanks for the picture. Uh, can you like sign this? And I'll be like, sure. Um, what, what do you want me to sign with? Um, <laughs> what do, you got? what do, you got? do you have anything? I'm like, I'm, no. I mean, hoping, you're asking me to sign something. You like, and it, it's not like, you know, it's just, but, but in general, I feel sometimes I think in this day and age, I've been in the game for a long time. You have too, mm -hmm. where you start thinking, okay, doing an autograph is you get used to it. People really enjoy it, embrace it. And I've seen people like, obviously, you know, hang up pictures because you know, people like us. Right. And then like, you know, we maybe inspire them or motivate them in some sort of way. So they put it up and it's cool, cool to see, but still like, there's so many times where I'm just like, the autograph is like, or maybe years ago, it was just like, <laughs> autograph is, I'm supposed to, like sometimes it just, it's just weird through my head sometimes. Pictures you know? I think are easier. Pictures are great. You know, you just smile. I like pictures, I, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love you do pictures. the band photo where you just kind of just look away or yeah. flex or yeah. point at something. Yeah. But yeah. So this is, uh, you're asking me questions, but I want to ask you some questions first. No, it's just back and forth. You can, okay. We can talk about the light bulbs, we can talk about it. Okay, so paper. earlier we were talking about penises, lengths, girths, <laughs> all that stuff. That was fun and all, but I don't know if uh, if you're on, you're, you've probably already done videos about that. Already, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, that's old news. They're old on news. a different website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about your turtles and all that. No, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> what I wanted to ask you was, like, when did you get into this extreme stuff? Did you do, like, <laughs> earlier today, like, like you were driving those vehicles like like crazy. Like fast. you're fast, but what was really cool was when I was in that side by side, I felt super calm and comfortable. Because I noticed I, that. I was because, waiting for a screen. Yeah, you were waiting for me to like freak out, right? Yeah. But because you were so confident driving that, <laughs> I felt really Safe. Good. Uh, you didn't even grab under the. I, I did for the donuts. Oh, okay, yeah. For the donuts, sometimes, I was like, I wasn't really sure because, like, it felt a little bit like I was getting pushed. So I was sometimes like, okay. you feel your weight shift, you just want to grab on. Yeah, it's yeah. like more just reflex and all that. But uh, overall, I was like, if anyone else was driving, I'd probably be like, mm. but I just felt so. And, and I'm the kind of guy that's always like, uh, you know, don't I don't really do crazy extreme stuff yeah. sports wise. Like maybe couple sports here and there, but like vehicle wise, like I haven't done a lot, you know, I haven't, I wasn't, I didn't grow we up can with do that. More. Oh, we, we will, <laughs> we, we will. Yeah. We have to do more. 
And who said that this is the last time? So, yeah. <laughs> so We're basically neighbors. Yeah, I mean, technically, everyone in Canada is neighbors. Right? Yeah. That, that's what the that's what the South sometimes thinks, you know. Basically connected by yeah, everyone in Canada knows each other. Yeah, if you're within two hours, then you're that's neighbors. Every time I travel, well, not every time, but I get this question a lot in the states where they'll be like, "Oh, oh, I know, I know somebody in Canada. Their, their name's Bob or whatever." I'll be like, from "Yeah, none of it." No, they won't even <laughs> say from where. They'll say from Canada. They'll be like, "Do you know Bob?" Um, <laughs> I know a Bob, <laughs> like, you know, um, did you ever hear the Bob joke? What's the Bob joke? The guy with no arms and no legs. We, uh, we throw him in the lake. Do you? That's why we call him Bob. I got a Bob in my, <laughs> I got a Bob in my, in my unit too. You know, he's, um, he's the boxing guy. Right? That's kind of like the motocross people. Like you'll run into someone and they're like, Oh, you know, you must know my friend. He races. His right. Mike. Right. Like there's thousands of them. Same with them. <laughs> Eating world's pretty small, but fitness world, for sure, I get that all the time, where they're just like, oh, do you know this person? I'm like, kind of, yeah. And I'm terrible with names, I'm great with faces, so people will say this person's name, I'm like, oh, I have no idea who that is, and then they'll show me a picture, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know who that is. Do you get the, like, someone, a fan of you three years ago, it's like, you, hey, man, we met three years ago. Yeah, show, unfortunately, it's like, and it's like, sometimes, very, like, sometimes I'll very, like, I'll, I'll remember them for sure. But remember like, the face. Yeah, oh no, for sure. I would definitely remember, remember the name. Them. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Or sometimes they have a story that you really remember. Yeah, it's gotta be a good story. Right? Yeah, for sure. Or <laughs> like, like just, there. or like something crazy happened, or like, you know, I've had a couple of crazy things that have happened in my life, like health wise and everything, and a lot of people, you know, relate to it and they share their story. And sometimes, you know, I'll, or often I'll, I'll remember those stories, you know, sometimes not all the details, but I'll remember like, oh yeah, you shared that story and it was really good and powerful. Um, but those, uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, it, it's hard to remember all the faces, right? Well, especially over so the years. Many. We've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. You know? Especially you go to every event it's like you meet, I love meeting everyone, but yeah. it's like, you can't remember. No, no, I for can't sure. even remember like half my friend's friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're there for them at the end. Like it's true. Like where we go to these events while I appreciate it, you know, we're there for them. They would, you know, they come to see you. Right. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that, um, they get, you know, the time that they, they want with you and, uh, you know, be able to have that moment, right? Exactly. Yeah. Who would have thought to throw a few YouTube videos up and now you're here? Yeah. Wow. You know, a little bit of a process in between, <laughs> yeah. but you're right. You're well, right. why did you start YouTube? So I started YouTube. I was, I was in a university. Uh, I was doing my engineering degree, did eventually did my master's in engineering, but in year three, of mechanical engineering. I was actually down here in London, Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, we went out for, uh, you know, a little bit of a rip as you know, whatever you want to <laughs> call it. It was Uncle a puppy crawl. Old Uncle Pete was out there. Oh yeah, I was, I was out there. Out <laughs> Richmond. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I totally we were on Richmond actually. <laughs> we're doing a pup crawl on there. Uh, actually that night I remember uh, my good buddy Adrian got a, I don't know if actually, uh, I'll probably say this outside, but anyways, a little, little ticket for public, uh, urination and, uh, <laughs> in the wrong spots and I'll, I'll say the story afterwards because uh, uh okay let's say <laughs> anyways, continue yeah yeah anyways anyways so going. we uh we went out and obviously woke up with massive hangovers right yes. naturally and we wanted the traditional greasy breakfast so we went to a place called christina's pub yeah uh apparently it's closed down which is very unfortunate because i was supposed to film a documentary that was supposed to include that <laughs> and so the the crew right, was, the crew was like uh got any other ideas so i was like <laughs> Because uh, I wanted to go back there to kind of so. What, anyways, I'll explain why Christina's Pub. So we went to Christina's Pub breakfast place, and one of my buddies uh, likes to challenge people to do r random things, crazy things. Crazy. You know, back in like you. back in well, no, that's what I turned into. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, back in elementary school or high school, he would challenge people to like lick a tile on the floor for twenty bucks or for five bucks even. Do it. You know, right. people would do that, right? Yeah. I think I did it or something but like five bucks in my pocket like right? the gum wall yeah like things like that you know oh, easy easy no problem yeah. minor money in my pocket bar tab right there yeah yeah totally. <laughs> um so anyways he likes to challenge people to do random things and there was this massive breakfast dish called the linebacker so on the linebacker there was two of every breakfast item you could ever think of did it come on a cookie tray now it was like a big plate like this right and apparently the record in that restaurant was eating two of those plates in an hour so it was a lot of food, whatever. So like four breakfasts probably. Uh, yeah, at least, yeah, for sure. Four and a half. And <clears throat> he challenged anyone at the table to break the record. 
And if they did, you pay for the breakfast plus 40 bucks. And you know, university, whatever. You can do it. I'll take, I'll take the money, you know? I'll try it and you'll pay me for my breakfast, no problem. Yeah. So I tried it and then I ended up eating four of those plates in an hour, in less, way less than an hour. And uh, I could have gone for more, but I was like, I got like a really vicious headache from all the carbs <laughs> and everything. But anyways, I doubled the record, which is crazy. Jesus. And then after that, I started posting, uh, I started doing challenges. Uh, that I saw online in restaurants, local restaurants, and posted them on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And at first, it was just to kind of just show off my skills. Yeah. And then, yeah, a year later, I got into competitive eating. I got asked to come down to California for an eating contest, won a bunch of contests in a row, oh, broke a bunch of world records. Breakfast. Yeah, that's where it all started. Oh. You know, I just kind of just, sort of I just tackled the opportunity, right? It wasn't supposed to be anything and turned into something. Jump on a little tot. Yeah, I just, I didn't really think of what it will be at all, right, yeah. obviously. Um, and I didn't actually take YouTube seriously, because that was 2007. And that was when I started. Yeah, there yeah. you go, there you go. Well, I, when I opened my account. Like, yeah, I uploaded my first video in 2007, because I just needed a place to share videos. It wasn't, you know, there was a couple other platforms out there, but... Not much. Not much, not much. I remember burning DVDs. Yeah. yeah. I don't... But yeah, continue. yeah. And then, yeah, so I started uploading videos randomly here and there no schedule quality was 240 it was a it was a potato you know yeah. i was recording with a potato uh and then 2011 i finally started taking things a little bit seriously after i went for a meeting um in downtown toronto at google and i guess the top youtubers at the time there was like four big youtubers came down and they were explaining how they'd kind of transformed this into a business mm -hmm. how they were able to make a living off of this and i started applying the lessons that they told everyone, which was stay consistent, mm -hmm. uh, quality, and ask your fans what they want to see next. Exactly. I think that was the biggest thing where it's like, yeah, you might enjoy making some content sometimes, um, but not everyone wants to see it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, you know, obviously you want to make content that you like to make, you gotta attack a bigger audience. Right, it's, well it's also like, yeah, you know, you have an audience that's watching your stuff and you wanna see exactly, out of the five videos that you just posted, which one was your favorite, you know, find out, talk to them. And that's how I started growing, and I started growing at a very, very nice rate. 2012, had my first viral video, it's called Before and After in Five Hours, it was this transformation where I showcased um, how uh, the marketing of fitness ads was like totally like people were scamming people. Was that the like six pack abs guy? Yeah, I, was, I, showed, I showed that off too. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, um, what was his name? Um, Mike Chang. Mike Chang, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the one. Great that was, guy, is he yeah. still around? Yeah, he's still around, he kind of, he kind of is like quiet with a lot of stuff now because he's, he's not part of the brand or anything. Uh, he didn't own it. Oh, he was, he was just the face. face. Yeah, yeah. So. He was on every ad. Yeah. Yeah, I remember filming my first viral video. So basically what I showed was that in all these fitness magazines, especially like back in the day, you know, you see a before and after photo. Mm -hmm. And what would happen is that they would, fill, they would shoot the after photo, um, they would shoot the after photo first and the before photo after. So basically this model would already be in crazy shape. Yeah. And within five hours, I would showcase how you can just look like a slob. <laughs> you know, that's what I just start show people, beer. right? You know, start drinking beer, milk, chips, sodium. You, you know, get really, really bloated. Um, you know, before photo, I would, put, you know, spray myself with some pan and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, but I remember that story where I, I filmed all those little clips and then I, I <laughs> filmed a commentary when I was filming over in Germany. I was out in Hamburg. And we were at a hotel, and it was like one in the morning, and I needed to film all this commentary in between, just and, and toss the clips in. But I was in Hamburg and smoked up some hash with with the cameraman. <laughs> and afterwards, I came back to the the room and I filmed all the commentary. I edited it, I uploaded it, and I woke up to seven million views. And I was like, this was in two thousand twelve. Yeah, holy. And I was like. <laughs> what just happened? Whoa. One of those nights you wake up and you're like, uh-oh. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, what the hell? And then Good Morning America was calling me to come in. Like next day or? Like, yeah, they wanted to come in as fast as possible. And I said, I can't for like two days. And they're like, okay, no problem. Two days is fine because I was still in Germany. And then Whitney Houston died and she took over my position. And 
that's that story. She took, Whitney Houston uh, took over my your spot, my, my spot on uh, Good Morning America. <laughs> um, but anyways, after that, I just started posting a lot of you know continued with YouTube videos and things grew. Consistent. Yeah, consistency was key. Consistency was key. And then you started other channels. I started a couple other channels. Started a vlog channel. Started like a gaming channel. So I started a supplement review channel. But it's, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's hard to, hard to do everything. Yeah. You know, it's how you get burnt out. And like, I started a bunch of companies. I started a supplement company. I have a performance mouthpiece company, apparel company, uh, launching a tequila. I have other companies that I'm invested in that I work with. And so it's just like, at the end of the day, it's hard to keep creating content. You know, as the business grows, it's hard. Yeah, it gets hard. Running all that stuff. Yeah, I know for sure. You're only one person. Yeah, yeah, I for sure. Just doing I have, I have good content. teams and everything, but yeah. yeah, I like just keeping up with content every day. Yeah. You know, it's it's tough, and it's also like sometimes you become critical of yourself, where it's just like ah, oh, it's not good, and it's become more competitive, mm -hmm. like crazy competitive. I was critical at the start. Yeah, and now it's like I feel like you can throw anything up. And yeah. I yes mean, and no. Yes and no, right? Um, I only started daily videos three years ago. Do you like the daily? Um, when I started, I hated it. Yeah. Because I always thought that you had to film every day. And then I kind of figured out a way that I could film two or three videos in a day. Yeah. Like, you know, I'd do a race, you know, I'd go practice, yeah. and then we'd jump the car. Yeah. And <clears throat> when I was filming every day, I actually got so burnt out mm -hmm. that I was doing dumb things. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about it, and then I ended up actually breaking my back. Oh, fuck. So we were here one night, and it was, I think I'd film like, it was like 100 or 200 days straight. And we were right, I was doing that, plus we are riding like five times a week, because we just built that metal ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every friend wanted to ride on a different day of the week, so it was like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like we're always out there. And then by like Thursday or Friday, you're just burnt out, especially because yeah. I was going to the gym too, right? Yeah. So like when you're riding, you want to be there. And by the end, I felt like I was just wasn't there anymore. Right. So I was doing dumb things and I ended up, uh, everyone was on the ramp and I went on the track. I was riding around. Of course, I turned the camera on for the, you know, the filming lap. And right. I hadn't hit this one jump yet. And I'm like, you know what? It's fine. Come out of the woods, bounce like 180 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, broke my back. Two spots, Sorry. two ribs, lung, and um, what's that down there? P uh, spleen. Jesus. So, like as bad as it was, you know, it could have been a lot worse. Right. I basically walked out of it. I spent four or five days in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Three weeks recovery, back to the gym in a month, and raced a full good. snowcross season within three months. That's a very fast recovery. Yeah, it was. Wow. It was hard. It was yeah. very hard. It was. That's uh, crazy. It was a mental game, but I knew, like, I know a lot of people. Obviously, we know a lot of people that have got in those types of situations, got those injuries, and they didn't. They didn't come back from yeah. it. They, oh, for sure. They, it goes to your head. You get oh, for lazy, sure. you get scared, depressed, whatever. So yeah. I was like, okay, like, you know, I was off the meds in four days. Like, wow. I couldn't take painkillers and. But, uh, that's crazy that's impressive yeah so now after that I changed it so like we'll have like two three filming days and then the rest of the week I'll have to myself or yeah I'll do that all the time where like I mean back in the day people were like oh how do you how do you like eat everything you eat and then you stay in shape well I'll, yeah. be, I'll film sometimes like two or three videos because now I only post I try and I've, I've tried to do like three videos a week, then two. Now I'm, I think I'm just sticking to one and I'm just gonna focus on like something real, like a big banger, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I would like film like two or three videos in two days, right? At the start of the month and you'd be almost good for the whole month, right? Crazy, right? And so it's, I mean, you know, some people all the time where it's like if I'm filming like in Vancouver, um, and I posted like three weeks later, people like, will message me, are you still in Vancouver? Oh yeah, I get that all the time. And it's like, no bro, like, I gotta edit this, yeah. I gotta travel, like, yeah. follow my G man, follow my stories to yeah. know that I'm at home. That was kind of before stories though, mm. I remember all these stories. I still get those all the time. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's like, guys, keep up to my story, because yeah. that was two weeks ago. Yeah. So people always think, like most people think that when you post it, that that's, you just did that like yeah. this morning, so. Yeah. It's in the now. <laughs> yeah, keep yeah. up with the story. That's what I always say. Yeah. Keep like, just watch those because that's the most live you're going to get unless you're actually fully live. Yeah. So. Yeah, live is fun. Live is fun. Um, I wish we had unlimited data in Canada. 
Yeah. We don't. Yeah, we get rid of that. That, that, that goes uh, really fast. Yeah. Yeah, like you go live and all of a sudden you're through a gig. So I think a gig costs, what, like 10, 15 bucks now? Yeah, and it's not like the internet here is any good uh, in, uh, in the Free, Freeman uh, Thames, compound. Thames Valley uh, or Middlesex or whatever yeah. we are. Yeah. So it takes me, for a small, like, 5 to 10 minute video, it takes me about an hour. Wow. But, like, you know, a 20 to 30 minute video, it can be anywhere from, like, 5 to So you hours. overnighted it? Yeah, so usually, like, we'll do the video during the day. I'll edit it uh, right after, and then hopefully before bed I can get it uploaded. And yeah. then when it's done in the morning, I'll schedule it. Thank God for YouTube scheduling. Remember yeah. before scheduling? Yeah, I don't do that anymore. I used to. I can't do the schedule. Well, I guess you're not doing every day, though. No, I'm not. I had, like, uh, I did that last year during uh, a show, and, like, all the videos performed way worse when I scheduled. Oh, really? Yeah, so now I just unlist and wait for the time and just public. I, I was know. always told that if you went from private to public that you're not private, public. unlisted. Okay. Unlisted. Well, I don't know, one or the other, but it wouldn't go out to your subscribers, but I think that was Yeah, you gotta keep it unlisted. Okay. Unlisted. Unlisted that's is cool. Deal. Yeah. That's, that's cool. We're cool. learning we're learning tricks here. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? So you have what four point eight million subscribers? Something like that, yeah. So did you notice like, you know, a big growth or was it kind of consistent or? Um, it's like, it was consistent. Then there was like, I would have a couple of viral videos here and there and then you'd have some spikes. Videos. Yeah. I can't even read that. Just, um, just throw the phone over. It's, it's like nowadays when there was like a time where when people went viral, they would gain so many subscribers. Yeah. Um, my when, first viral video, I think I gained like 20 or 30,000. Yeah. When I did my before and after video, I know for a fact that when, if I had that happen two years later, I would have gotten like 20 times more subscribers. Yeah. Um, but it was like during a time where it's like, it was, you know, people didn't have accounts, 2012 and, uh, yeah, I just didn't just didn't happen because it was the number one viewed it was on the front page for seven days straight <laughs> which is crazy like back then it was not trending it was just front page right yeah. and it was like number one watch video all this other stuff right and yeah if that happened now seven days on like you know front page yeah you get a good amount of subscribers oh huge yeah so but overall it was just consistent growth year after year <clears throat> and you started 2007 but I took it seriously in 2011. Okay. Between 2007 to 2011, I had I gained 3,000 subscribers. Okay. I started. Yeah. I opened mine in 2007. Yeah. I was just ma making videos for the fun of it, just mm -hmm. you know, friends doing dumb things. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I didn't want to burn DVDs anymore, so I everyone's like, oh, throw it on YouTube. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. And then um, 2009, they came up with a partnership thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let's do it. So, yeah. You know, it starts with the $200 check, and then yeah. it just kind of goes from there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh. What's in the question here? Furious Pete might be a fast eater. Who is the faster rider? <laughs> uh, <you. laughs> hey, easy question. Next. <laughs> yeah, next. So simple. Uh, we should do a, a, a eating thing. We don't yeah. have any food right now, but we'll drink liquid food. Yeah. We can see how many scoopies we can do. Uh, oh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we might be crawling on the roof. Yeah, yeah. It definitely sounds dangerous. But no, a lot more videos, uh, obviously, going out this week. So. Yeah, man. It's going to be great. Um, Can't wait. What was your first thought of here? It was fun. Uh, it was different like from the norm. Yeah, it's like I didn't know what to expect, and it's just like right away we just went right into it. It was action, action, action. It was fun. It's yeah. kind of anything goes here. We yeah. start with a plan, yeah. but then you end up like over here. And we have some crazy plans that like we'll see. We'll just see what 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 works and what doesn't. Sometimes plans just don't. Literally, some oh, like all, our group will look at each other and like we'll throw ideas and they're yeah. like, "That's completely stupid." Yeah. But then we somehow make it happen, and it turns out actually being pretty epic. Like, but then like you never know what's gonna hit on YouTube. Yeah. Like I've spent I had a helicopter shoot out here one day. There was a helicopter following me around for an hour. I was dead by the end. Epic video, you know, got a quarter million views. Then I, uh, like the next year, we filmed a four minute video, basically just dumping my ATV out of my truck. Took five minutes iPhone and that was my first viral video oh. you know I had two or three million views and within a couple of days and I was yeah. like, 
It's like, why can't average video? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, so you're saying if I try less. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's like that, you know? It's like viral content is really supposed to be something that just, you don't always have to just try, like it's, it happens, right? Like mm -hmm. there's so many videos out there that have so many millions of views where it's just like somebody just got a clip. Yeah, you know? yeah. I watched uh, one today. It was basically a guy explaining how to make like an expensive muffler and he had a scooter and he just took a Fanta uh, pop can, mm -hmm. cut the top off it, put it there. Like the thumbnail is just the Fanta can wired onto yeah. like, his muffler. 60 million views. Yeah. And I was like, it's a thumbnail. <laughs> like it wasn't even like an impressive thumbnail or anything yeah. like, but I obviously clicked on it. And, ah, see, there you go. Yeah, and the guy's got like, he's got a few hundred thousand subscribers, but now all his videos are just... No views. No views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I Sometimes couldn't believe it, like, usually it's a few million, but no, this was like 60 million. Yeah. But you know, people want to learn how to do stuff. And they want, like the to do -tos, the they want to learn how to do They want to learn how to do stupid stuff. Oh yeah. People always <laughs> want to know how to do stupid stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I did all these easy quad loads, like exp explaining how to load my quad with the ramps. Mm -hmm. And they all were like, you know, a million to five million within a year. Yeah. That, my first viral video actually paid for my quad. That's awesome. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I was like, oh, this video, you know, it's a dumb idea. Maybe make a few hundred bucks. Yeah. I can pay for my quad. I'm like, yeah. Let's do it again. Why not, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, for sure. Yeah, it's <clears throat> YouTube's so crazy now with the algorithm and yeah, you never know what's gonna hit. So yeah, I know it's uh, they change it all the time, and you know, and at the end of the day, I I get pissed off here and there when like something's going like this, and then all of a sudden they change the algorithm, and it's totally not in my favor. Um, but now I've just kind of just gotten used to the fact that there's so many other platforms besides YouTube, mm -hmm. right? Where it's just like YouTube's gonna do their thing. You yeah. can't do anything about it. Well, all these platforms are gonna do their thing. Yeah, exactly. No, what I'm trying to say is like, maybe you can dominate on another platform. Oh, okay. You know, it's like, there's so many platforms that you can upload to video. Like there's Facebook, Twitter, there's Instagram, there's hmm. all these platforms, uh, you know, live stream on Twitch. Twitch is big now and you can upload video there too. And you know, there's more and more platforms that pop up all the time. It's crazy. Yeah, I can't even keep up with that. Yeah, sure. there's like D2, for example, that pays you in cryptocurrency. <laughs> yeah, it's Jeez. great. And what's funny is like I started uploading on there and I would always be on the trending, but they would actually show you the amount of money you're making instead of the amount of views. Huh? Which Do is they show other people the amount it's of money? Everyone. That's all you see. You see the amount of money they made on that video. Is it like in Bitcoin or? It's in, it's in, the, it's in Steam which is a crypto, yeah. but they'll show the actual USD value of that at the time. Oh, so okay. it'll change all the time because crypto changes all the time. Yeah. So like right now it's like, it's tumbling right now. And did everything. you ever get into crypto? I did. Did you? Yeah. I, I think, I, I think I'd like just obviously, you're not, you don't lose until you sell. <laughs> Put it that way. Yeah. I'm down, but I haven't lost. So one of my, my actually old buddy, when Bitcoin was at like 200 bucks, he's yeah. like, hey, we should buy in. And then I'm like, yeah, whatever, I don't know what this is. Yeah. So he actually ended up buying one. And then when it was like peaked there at like $10 or $20,000, he's like, fuck, cash out. Couldn't find it. Because it was like seven years later. Like, yeah. So he couldn't find it on his computer. Yeah. But though I bought it, I think I put like a hundred bucks in and I ended up making like 500 or something. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I just want out. Yeah. I can't handle this like boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's so volatile. <laughs> I started doing some like short term trading and everything. And yeah. it's like, it's just so volatile. Like everything was going good and then all of a sudden it crashes. You're like, fuck. I don't know how like, these like traders do all this like market stuff. It's all controlled by all these like rich people, you know? Oh, it, it must is. be stressful. Oh, yeah. Like if we think YouTube's stressful, imagine that. I mean, everyone's got their own. Everyone's right? got their own stress. Yeah, you know? but uh, yeah. we can't complain, right? You're making money off the internet. No, that's that's been great. You know, now my stress has changed to running businesses and all yeah. that good stuff. But I'm blessed. I'm very. I'm not complaining whatsoever. It's just been busy and, yeah. and stressful. But I'm I'm very like you know happy with how everything has turned out. Yeah, it's turned out. You know, it's been. It's been an interesting ride uh, over the years, and yeah, it's. You been... didn't think ten years ago you'd be. Nah, you know, it's like I did my master's in engineering, and I was ready to like do shit for NASA. All that. That was. Those were the goals, you know. Fear speed NASA. Yeah, man. I work. I worked for a company that made like you know, lenses for for NASA and everything. So, yeah, like my internship and my like masters were all revolving around that. Mm -hmm. 
uh, my thesis and uh, it was cool. I loved it. That's what my passion was. I was a nerd, you know, science and math were my jam. But uh, yeah, um, but uh, you know, things, you never know. You never know what happens. Well, you know, you go to university, you learn all this shit uh, that you think you're never going to use. And you, like any school. Like yeah, that. and you're just like, well, I'm going to use this or like, I'm going to forget this. And it's not what you learn, it's how you, they teach you how to think. Yeah. And that's where you apply, that's what you apply to every day. Just like. use your brain, right? Yeah, yeah, you always learn everything in the real world. Yep. It's nice to have those skills just in case. Like I think mostly all I use now is like math. This is great water, by the way. Yeah, yeah. This, this is rock Fantastic. Star water. Fantastic. I Should we have a it. little scoopy? Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have, we have, uh, we have Goku Games. Um, funny enough, in two days' time, I don't know when this video is going up, but well, it's... it'll probably actually be live. So oh yeah, we'll put the link. You go in up there. quick. You go up quick with your stuff. Yeah, I sit on my content sometimes for a you little. You let bit. it marinate. No, I don't let it marinate. I just like you know. Actually, the video that we're gonna do tomorrow, I want to actually put up Friday. Hopefully, that's my goal. What's today? The hot air I balloon. I think today's Wednesday. Is yeah, the hot air balloon I actually want to put up Friday. Oh, yeah. Have you ever That's been a balloon? Uh, once. Oh, okay. Once uh, in Newmarket. So you're... I remember the landing is really interesting. So. Uh, well, there's two kinds of landings. There's like your nice, you know... No, don't talk about it. You got to watch the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyways, the scoop uh, kind of just... Started doing that this past summer. I already had a full one earlier, so I'm gonna do a half scoop. Yeah. Um, scoop du so jour. Scoop du jour. Wow, this is scoop du jour numero dos. <laughs> scoop du jour numero dos. Well, cheers. Uh, it's the mystery flavor. What we're actually doing with this is uh, what's really cool about this. If you mix it with water, it's actually black. So how this came about before we actually take this. So you got two seconds. Hold on. I got a story to tell. Um, <laughs> how this came about is I was, I was actually flavoring this in a lab. And I was trying a sour green apple flavor that we actually flavored a year prior. I just wanted to make sure the flavor was good. Mm -hmm. And like I was trying it and it was a pink color. And I was like, something's green. off. Yeah. Something's off. Like the flavor's off. Came back. Uh, I went to the washroom because I was doing <laughs> stims all day long. So you're pissing all day long. You're just, Oof. you need to pee. All, yeah, like, yeah. It's it, like when you do 150 samples, you're, you're peeing all the time. Mm. Um, came back, a nice green sample. And I tried it. No, no, no. The, <laughs> that, 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 sorry, the green apple was green. Oh, okay. And I tried it. I'm like, bang on flavor. What'd you guys do? Like, we just changed the color. <laughs> color is a lot. Color time. tells you so much. So we made this black to screw with your mind. Really? Absolutely. So that you start thinking, oh, it's got to be this flavor. But you're like, it's black though, so it can't be. Either. Yeah. That's when they like type like yellow yeah but the the words actually like pink so. yeah so this is a bunch of this is a combination of a number of flavors and we're challenging people to kind of figure out what flavor is in so if people can guess what this flavor is the deal is uh, i'll give them a year supply of fierce formations products i'll pay for their gym membership for a year i'll probably even hook them up with the newest iphone all the good stuff you know <laughs> handshake yeah. i'll go i'll kiss the babies ah, <laughs> that's pushing it bro. okay cheers <laughs> Scoop jour. Mm -hmm. I remember um, when ketchup came out with purple ketchup. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember that? And I, no. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. I think it was in grade nine. Mm. I don't know what year that would be like. A couple years ago. Anyways, yeah, so grade nine you, a couple years ago? <laughs> no. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 28. Okay. How old are you? I'm 32. Oh. So. I'm an old fuck for you too. <laughs> That's what they call it. Like, yeah, yeah, cheers. You're going to be wired. In this day and age, I feel like YouTubers are so young that you like start to feel old. Yeah. Especially when we've been in it for so long, right? Uh, it's funny, it actually makes your teeth a little bit blue. Are my teeth black? A little bit blue. Oh. Um, but in water, it's black. I don't know, whatever. It's, I like it. Do you have any idea what flavors are in here? Any idea? It's actually hard with the scoop. You actually need to mix it up to I've never in had water. It water. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is there some cherry? Ever in since there? ever, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why am I even asking her trying this? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. There is, <coughs> there is no cherry. There's no cherry. No oh. cherry. Well, I give up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because we just we started doing these scoops in uh, Boots and Hearts. People just went crazy, right? Was that the first time? No, no. They oh, okay. Yeah, but that's when you would have done it the first time. Yeah, that was my first time. I took a full one and it just went down my throat. And it was oh, like you were dying. It was like the cinnamon challenge. Oh. Like, when you cough, and it's never just good. Like, <laughs> yeah, now we're good. Oh, that was good though. Um, but it's really good in water when you mix it up. That's what we pride ourselves on is the flavoring and the actual formulas. I like how you don't get itchy. Yeah, that's the beta alanine. So um, the first time I tried um, 
pre-workout. I think it was a C12 or whatever. C4. That's C4. Yeah, that's a popular one. And all of a sudden I'm itchy and I like want to punch the wall. And that's that, that, that's why, you know, I formulated this that I want stuff that I want to take. Yeah. And I don't like the whole itchiness. I don't want to go to a gym being like, oh, yeah. the <laughs> shit caught off my body. It's not everyone, th everyone thinks you're on drugs or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you technically are because you're doing pre-workout. Uh, I like it though. It's good. So cool. that'll be, I guess, live once this video. Yeah, man. For sure. Cool. Exciting. Um, yeah, what else? Do we have any questions that come in? We haven't even checked that yet. Yeah, well, we kind of did, but there wasn't... <laughs> I love when someone's like, oh, I'll ask you a question. It's like, hi. Uh, <laughs> nope. There's, there was that question that you asked, and then there was just like questions like, hi, Pete. Mark Freeman shout out. How did you and Mark meet? When are you and Mark doing a meetup? How are you not dead? That's, that's, that, those are the questions that we kind of came in. That how are you not dead is, that could be like a wide range of things. Well, like, how are you not dead when it comes to eating? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. with all the shit I eat sometimes. And, nah, I don't know. I just, I'm just, I'm Furious Pete. Yeah. Uh, Furious Pete don't die. That, 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 that's it? Cheers, cheers to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah cheers, cheers to that. <laughs> okay, yeah, we've done, uh, we've done a lot of crazy things. Yeah, we have. I feel like, I mean, like... Obviously, different things mm -hmm. like I do the motocross, the car jumps, the ah, car jumps are hilarious. Yeah, you no. saw your first one night. Yeah, that was crazy. That was like this. 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 My favorite thing is people like you get most people like it, but you get that like ten percent that like rip you apart. Like oh. You know, some kid could eat that in Africa, and it's like... <laughs> you can eat a truck in him. I mean, have you watched Fast and the Furious? Yeah. They destroy like $100,000 cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm destroying a car that's going to the scrapyard anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, totally, for sure. <laughs> if yeah, you want to fix it, you can drop five grand in it. But, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's funny. It yeah, all amazing. started, um... I forget what it was, like... Probably six, seven years ago, my buddy had a car, and it was mm -hmm. done. He brought it over. It was an 89 Beretta. And, uh... We didn't know how to like what to do. He's like, let's jump this or destroy it. So we smashed the door off, and that jump that the car hit tonight, we actually had that jump. Oh wow! And uh, I didn't know what like I had my full motocross gear on. I didn't. We had no plan. It was yeah. just like, how are we gonna do this? So I actually put a brick on the gas. Mm -hmm. We're doing like a probably eighty hundred k. Yeah. And my buddy was on the ATV beside me, following me, and all of a sudden we started going through the bumps. And launch out of the car and like belly flop on the ATV. Mm -hmm. This thing hits the jump, goes off the side, barrel rolls, lands in the puddle. It was perfect. That's awesome. And then. You ever getting a lot of shit for this? Car jumps? Like everything that you're doing out here? Uh, here and there? Kinda. Yeah. I've gotten in trouble like two or three times. One time we crashed two cars and all of a sudden the throttle stuck, lit on fire, we didn't have fire extinguishers. Uh, the fire department never showed up, but. My dad is pissed. When you get like a 800 plume, 800 foot of plume, I can't even talk. Black yeah. smoke straight up in the air for miles. People get pissed. Yeah, people notice. Then another one, we crashed a few cars in like the fall and then it actually snowed like a foot the next day. So we couldn't get them out, they were upside yeah. down. So we left them there for like probably a month. And then somehow I got six random complaints or um, complaints that there was an accident and somehow from like the highway to like basically where we were today the cars made it off the highway and no way. like you couldn't possibly roll a car that far yeah so it was a cop show. oh I get it yeah people thought yeah. there was an accident over and there. then yeah. somehow the cars ended up like you know a thousand feet away mm -hmm. but no the cops showed up in his house at 6 a.m. yeah and unfortunately we're you know we hit the town the night before and I was hung over <laughs> and I showed up in my box and I'm like, who the hell is here? Yeah. Two cops, biggest assholes in my life. Oh, like, no. oh, what the, I can't believe you did this. Or, you know, you probably killed someone. They're blaming me that there's like a dead body. That was a terrible one. I was supposed to do this and I did this. <laughs> you did like that. Anyways, yeah, they cool. searched the whole property for dead bodies. Wow. And then my last, no. Uh. Uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll never find them. Anyways, the last one was, uh, I got into a thing, you know how everyone was always filming and driving? Yeah. So I just, you know, I started doing it, I knew it was bad and wrong, and anyways, I started doing it, and um, they showed it to my house, like, uh, six months, a year later, and basically said I was a bad influence on my audience. You are. 
I was basically a piece of shit. And, you are. Uh, I just, think what I'm happened though, it was, it, was, it was a lady cop. and Always agree with the authorities. <laughs> yeah. You Next are time, everything they said you are. If they show up again, I'm fully filming it because I kicked their ass in court. So anyways. They probably won't show again if you kick their ass in court. Yeah. Um, well, the judge laughed at it. Actually, yeah. they gave me a full careless, so it's like seven points, like five hundred bucks. You know, it'll ruin your insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably can't get insurance. Yeah. She came with, I'm pretty sure, her boss, who like just sat by the car and was waiting for me to do something stupid, and was like full power. It started as like this like hundred dollar charge, and that has changed to this. And I was being like super nice. I'm like, oh, yeah. Well. Anyways, so I got a careless, and then I took it to court, and the judge laughed and tore it up, and. Oh boy. I hope she felt like an idiot. So yeah. If they show up again, I'm going to sue them for harassment. Yeah. Because, you know. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> uh, good. It's more uh, for you and me. Yeah. Or we'll, so, uh, we'll, I don't know. We'll do something stupid with cars. We'll that. jump a cop car. Yeah. Yeah. Straight off the rock ledge up yeah. there. Yeah. We'll steal the cop car and we'll jump it. <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah, I feel like that would probably be a bad idea. Yeah. I got cop plates on the ever. Okay. Uh, well, obviously you can see them today, but uh, it's got speakers too. So oh, okay. I download a siren. So oh, that's cool. If we ever want to pull someone over and get in real trouble, trouble we can. Yeah. So I have ideas flowing through my head. <laughs> you're just you're quiet. You're getting quiet over there. You're just yeah. thinking like, thinking you know, I'm like, I'm like, there's a lot of crazy shit here. <laughs> things, ideas are endless. The things we come up with. I yeah. Know. Some of the things we've done over the years too. It's like, how do we get away with that? And the I mean, stuff I used to do before cameras too was probably. Uh, fuck, I gotta do diarrhea again. <laughs> I'm joking. It's like grumbling. You wanna wrap this up? I don't want. Uh, man, I. No, I we, can, we can stop and then continue. How long? Whatever, whatever you want. I think we've been, been going, going for a while. Yeah, 41. That was wrapping up. Okay. Alright, well. We'll be talking about a lot of stuff throughout videos anyway. We so. got a lot of content coming up. Car jumps. We got uh, some eating challenges. We got. I don't know, We're gonna do a lot of crazy shit. So you gotta stay tuned. You gotta subscribe. You gotta like up this video and comment down below. You know, if we don't make content this time around, because when this video goes up, I'll be gone. But let us know what videos we should make in the future. More car jumps. Let's do a car jump Toronto. Listen, we're asking them, not you. <laughs> sorry, okay? sorry. I'll listen, shut up. This is the lesson that I told you at the start of the video. <laughs> listen to your audience. I do listen to them. No, clearly, <laughs> you're not listening I to them. Like, I asked them for their opinion. The you're you're just throwing the opinion in. Listen, All right. I'm getting very furious right now, and I'm about to have a furious shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. To old Uncle Furious Pete over old here. Old Uncle. <laughs> and uh, make sure you subscribe to me if you haven't, uh, if you're new, because yep. uh, we do crazy scoopies. Yep. Scoop to jour. Scoop to jour. Uh, thank you guys again. Leave some comments, check the links out. Subscribe. See you later. See you, man.